I don't remember exactly when the moment happened because I think it's a very gradual journey. But at a certain point, you just kind of realize that, well, actually, I can't live without this. I actually would like to do this for the rest of my life. 1998, my life was very chaotic. Coming to a new country, not speaking any language, and uh, arriving at the company was a rather uh, shocking experience because I had no expectations, uh, because this was just a completely new world to me. Somehow I've met people at the right time who saw something in me, talent or work or whatever it was. People like James, like Magda here, who were leading company at the time. People like Mona Campbell, who sort of drives me to different stores to buy food and clothes. And they helped me and they kind of guided my life at that time to arrive where I am today. But I think I was very lucky. I just met the right people at the right time. I'm a product of many, many people. I hated ballet through my first two years. I was like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to do this. You know, you kind of go into your teenage years and you realize how difficult and how challenging it is and how athletic it is. And slowly you start discovering art and music and it's like a whole another layer of things that you discover. I discovered that it's very interesting. My job was never boring. So it's this constant exploration and discovery and curiosity. There was always something in me that I guess I enjoyed not being myself and portraying different characters and being in a different world. It makes this work so amazing because you can discover so many things and you're in different worlds and different productions all the time. You try all of these different masks and you become all of these different people and I just wanted to know why people do these things and through these different productions like Winter's Tale and Robin and Juliet. And that means there's so many. I was able to do that, and I enjoyed this tremendously. With the journey of 25 years, I can tell you that doing a king or Sancho Panza in Balanchine's Don Q or a Duke in Giselle is just as important as doing all these big roles. It's like kind of a, this whole piece of art, the production is, has to be whole and everybody has to do their part and I've, with time you kind of realize that. And I try to value all of these roles and all of these productions on keeping them on equal keel. So regardless, whatever I do two steps or I do three hour ballet, I have to find the best possible way of showing something special to the audience. There is just so many productions that I have enjoyed doing and they grew me into an artist and person I am today. Whatever it was Song of the Earth or Winter's Tale, even Nutcracker, these are all just an experiences that I have really enjoyed and they really enriched my life. I chose passion for a couple of reasons. I think first because it was James, and I wanted to work with James. He was the biggest mentor for me as an artist and also as a human being. It's an extremely passionate piece and very physical piece. It's a piece about how different people react to each other, how different people have power over each other. There's a very interesting layer in it, and we're looking forward to it. I think I started teaching over a decade ago. With time, I actually developed quite a big passion for it. What I find it interesting is that it's you sculpting a life human body all the time, sculpted every day a little bit more, a little bit more, and I actually find that quite fascinating. There is no other interests than this life, this work, this medium, the medium of dance. I don't think so at this stage I could do anything else.
I have definitely reached the limits of my body, that's for sure. And I've heard this before by many dancers, so my mind very much still wants to do a lot of things. It's just my body says, no, you, 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 just, you just cannot. So I think this is a good time to go and to retire. And I will be performing, doing different stuff, but I need to close this chapter of my life and start moving forward and open a new chapter.